hey guys what's up welcome back to new video on my channel and today i am back with a new guide for whiteout survival our today's topic is the hall of heroes event i have mentioned the hall of heroes event several times in my previous guide but i have never made any dedicated video on hall of heroes so today i am making a video on hall of heroes i will explain what is hall of heroes what we have to do in this hall of heroes so let's jump in our video the hall of hero is a three days long event and we normally get this event in every week this event comes every week and it stays here for three days what we have to do in this event we will get something a currency this currency is called the mark of valor if you click here you will find this mark of valor and whenever the event comes every time you get one mark of valor for free and if you want to get some more mark of valor you have to get this using your gem you can see here for one mark of valor you have to use your 150 gems and if you are spender you can also purchase this pack there are a lot of packs you can purchase this if you are spender now the thing is the hall of heroes this event comes in every weeks but we can use this event with alliance mobilization we can combine this event with alliance mobilization how we can do this i will show you you can see here the currency that is called the mark of valor and if i want to get 99 mark of valor the cost is you can see 14850 so i want to get this 99 mark of valor but the cost is very high it is taking so much gems so what I will do when the alliance mobilization is here, I will grab any task where I have to spend my gems. As you can see, I have already grabbed one task where I have to spend 15,000 gems. You can see here I have to spend 15000 gems. So I have grabbed this mission and what I will do when I have this mission active, I will complete the Hall of Heroes event guys listen you cannot always do this thing because after the latest update the alliance mobilization is coming only one time in a month but this hall of heroes is coming in every week so in every month you are getting the hall of heroes event four times where you are getting the alliance mobilization only on one time actually if you check some months back i mean if you check before the latest update you could get alliance mobilization in every two weeks that means alliance mobilization used to come two times in a month but after the latest update uh, one alliance mobilization is replaced with alliance showdown so alliance showdown is coming in one week and after two weeks the alliance mobilization is coming so alliance mobilization is not coming two times in a month so you can use this thing only one time in a month you can combine the hall of heroes and alliance mobilization even and you can complete them together how you can do this you can see here i have already this mission active i have already this mission active here you can see this so now i will use my gem i will use my gem in hall of heroes and yeah i am getting this you see i got this mark of valor and at the same time i have completed my alliance mobilization you see here I got the point for alliance mobilization. Now the question is what I have to do with this mark of valor. As you can see I have a good amount of mark of valor what I will do. Guys remember in every generation there are different mark of valor. Keep in mind there are different mark of valor in every generation they are not same. As you can see there is another mark of valor uh, it is called aviator. and. It is from previous generation it is not for the current generation and the current generation mark of valor is called the valiant soul so you are getting different mark of valor in every generation and you have to use the, the thing in that generation but you can also save it for next generation like if you are getting any mark of valor in generation 3 you can say you can use this thing in generation 3 or you can use this thing in generation 4 or 5 that is your choice but the question is what you will get from this what item you will get from here let me grab my marker okay so what we will get from here now we have different choice 
if you are targeting any hero from your generation guys remember always the first slot as you can see the first slot you will get the current generation pay to win hero because in every generation one hero is lucky wheel and other two heroes are pay to win hero so you will get one pay to win hero on the top left corner you can see i am getting this hero on the top left corner which name is ooming so ooming is pay to win hero and it is in top left corner so i can get this ooming shard if i want as you can see i am getting a good amount of ooming shard and you have another choice you can also get this thing that is the mythic general shard so it is also your choice if you are target targeting this one but i have another suggestion for you if you are free to play if you want to get the widget so you can also grab the widget from here as you can see but you will not get the current generation hero widget you will get previous generation hero widget as you can see my current generation in my current generation i am getting the ooming but if you want to check the widget i am getting it from previous generation where heroes are hector nora and gwen and you can get i mean you can get almost all generation like if, here you can see generation 5 then you can see generation 4 generation 3 i mean using one currency you will get widget from different generation but i always suggest you to get the widget from latest generation we cannot get the widget of omi or current generation so we will get the previous generation and it depends on you which thing you want to upgrade right now i am focusing on hector i want to make my hector very strong so i am getting this thing and i can get i can get 50 widget from here i mean 50 chest which will give me 50 widget but again i am saying it depends on you if you are targeting any pay to win hero from your current generation you can get the top left corner hero i mean the shard not the hero the shard the top left corner hero shard and if you want to get the general mythic shard i mean mythic general shard you can also get that thing that is your choice because general shard can be used on any hero hero shard is specific but general shard can be used on any hero and here you can also get the custom mythic hero shard so it is also your choice which one you want to get but if you want my suggestion i always go for the widget i always go for the widget it is my first priority so i want to focus my hector i want to make my hector very strong so i will get this thing and there are some other items here if you scroll down below these items are not very good like i mean all items are useful in this game all items are useful but we will get this epic general shard from any other source and we have many source for hero xp so we are not going for this hero xp or epic general shard we will go for this top things current generation hero shard or epic i mean mythic general shard or the widget or anything i mean get any good thing from this shop so i want to focus on hector so i am getting this you see i got this thing so this is how you can play the event hall of heroes you can get this event four times in a month and one time you can combine this event with the alliance mobilization so you will get point in alliance mobilization and you will also complete your hall of heroes this is how you can get the shard or anything from the hall of heroes i hope you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and bye bye